welcome back to Freedom Go Farm. Today I'm showing you how I harvest and make bouquets for my farmer's market. But this time I'm trying to be better with my time. So I'm doing it florette style. So I'll show you everything from harvest to when the bouquets are ready in the market. The first thing I do is I wash my buckets with soap and water just to get out all the gunk. And then I fill them with water. So I just bought this wagon and wheelbarrow. No, I haven't had a wheelbarrow. Not sure why. I've had a gorilla cart, but I'm going to use this. The reason why for this, because I wanted to transport my water easier when harvesting flowers. One day I'll have a gator, but till then, save a little bit of money. This will do. Water. Alright, that's all the buckets I'm going to use for harvesting. I can actually fit one, two, three, four. Four more of those black buckets. So, eight. Not too bad. Okay. Wow, so much easier than grabbing them one by one to the fields. If you don't follow us on Instagram, we put that we just got 20 cubic yards of compost biggest load we've bought we've only done like 10 cubic yards at a time but first time we did 20. it's a pretty penny for that in our area okay so we're here in the field i just went ahead and we tarped this area. It was so overgrown, but we did it yesterday. So hopefully that'll be in production coming fall. You know, we have these. Obviously, I can't harvest because they're babies. Start with these zinnias here. Just white zinnias. Um, some of them are bigger than others, like that one. But you see, they're just small. There's a bug on there. And as always, I always strip everything out in the field. So, especially with zinnias, pretty good stem length. I'm gonna get the little. All right, got a cute little harvest. Now I'm gonna start. Marigolds I do last because they're just so big. Um, status, which is looking so lovely. I'm obsessed with drying them because I've seen it dried and it's amazing. All right, so some of these, these on the floor. This is why I need netting on this row. But these are pretty big. This is beautiful. Look how big! So big. Definitely want to grow more of this for the fall. So beautiful. Some of these are not salvageable, which I'll cut. And this little gumfrina patch is going. Look, little white. How cool. All right. So I'll start from here to there. So this patch has been going for at least four months. Three to four months. I mean, yeah, it has a lot of disease but they keep busting out flowers and pretty good ones too not too bad so look look how beautiful this one is look how big yeah look at that harvested this much so far not too much i don't it feels like every single time i make well we sold not too many last time, I think like 14 bouquets and a couple, I think a couple mason jars, but that's it. <sighs> so the big zinnias definitely sold. So I'm gonna just keep cutting these big ones. All right, little update. I really need a phone tripod <laughs> because I can, you can just, sh I can just show you when I harvest, but it's just me and my phone. That's as much I've harvested. I'm, getting all the big stuff 
pretty big zinnias. They really, really liked them last time. Maybe do some mason jars with these smaller ones, leaving some for Monday market. But definitely, I don't know if I'm gonna even sell anything there, <laughs> but we'll see. For now, I'm just focusing on the market Oops. and these big blooms. So pretty, so pretty. These little white ones, like look at this big one. So beautiful. I don't like this. This is like a grass. I'm not gonna grow those anymore. But I like this. I'll use these for Monday. It reminds me of like fireworks because it's like a Fourth of July thing. And then of course basil. And then I'll be done. So much for these. <laughs> I literally just try to cut basil in it completely shattered on me so that's awesome that's how I'm doing so far not too many blooms but now I'm cutting some basil I make sure that I strip also the basil and that it has a woody stem I mean I love basil the way it smells but it just doesn't hold up in bouquets if it's not in water so I have better luck with the woody stems, um, but I don't know about basil. I love you, but <clears throat> you wilt very easy. All right, I'm going to the marigolds. I'm really sh making sure I'm stripping the bottoms for these bouquets. I feel like if anything, I'll use the greenery of the marigolds because they're not as fragile as basil. But so far, this is what I got. Little harvest. All right, I think I'm done harvesting. I always come back for more, but alrighty. Now I'm just gonna leave these in the water for a couple hours, which is conditioning, which I learned from Florette. And then I'll make bouquets. The first thing I do after my flowers have been in water for a while, at least at least four hours, I go ahead and I cut about 18 inches into my craft paper to make my bouquet slips. And I just keep cutting them through. I was thinking about buying the actual craft paper slips for the flowers that are already done. But right now, the cost it doesn't work out for me. So I'm just going to keep using my rolls until then. And I just keep going and cutting. Next, I go ahead after I cut a few squares, I fold it, as you see here, just like that. And I keep going and prep all that before I start. Now, I'm doing it differently this time. I'm doing it florette style, trying to be a little bit more sufficient with the time and my labor for market bouquet. So I'm just setting out all of my focal flowers, my zinnias, and then I will put some marigolds. I don't have like the perfect formula just because I don't have any spike type of flowers. So I'm just putting out whatever I have. I have some, the zinnias, I have the marigolds, which can also be for some greenery, my basil, and then sunflowers and some disc type of flower, which is the rubecchia, which I don't have much of, but I'm just gonna go ahead and lay it out all first before I start. And here I just do a run through first. Try to do it at least within a minute or two. I'm still practicing my time. And then that's kind of like a little mock-up of a market bouquet that I'm going to do. My husband is helping me. I have tape right where you see me putting the bouquet. The tape there on the floor is kind of like the mark of where he's gonna cut make sure all the bouquets are in the same size and I'm just showing here my husband how I want him to wrap the bouquets so when I give it to him he knows what to do he'll go ahead and cut the stems rubber band them and go ahead and wrap them for me and that's how my bouquet looks all done good length in the stems and it looks great for a market bouquet
after I was done with my market bouquets with wrapped in craft paper, I had this idea to do some small mason jars in a smaller price point and wrap them in craft paper. I saw Paper Haro's, uh, one of their videos in their farmer's market and they had these mason jars wrapped really nicely in craft paper. Um, I was trying to figure out how to do it so I kind of just made up my own little way of wrapping it and this is what it looks like. After I wrap it I use some string to tie it together before I place my flowers. So those are my little small mason jar arrangements that I made. Uh, just a couple of flowers and some greenery to see if these sell. Now at the farmer's market, I'm here and I'm showing you all the bouquets that I did florette style. It's pretty cool just to do it this way, not really fussing with them and just, you know, just going down the line with the flowers. They actually turn out so nice, even better than when I would fuss with them. So. I'm glad that my labor, I am making sure that I don't spend too much time on these farmer's market bouquets. So these are my small little mason jars that I wrapped. They came out so nice, smaller price points, and I'm happy of how they turned out to be. So I'm also selling eggs too, so that's exciting for my farm. Overall, this is how my table looks like with my mason jars and my marking bouquets. Not many, but we have a sign there, a little chalkboard sign, so hopefully we sell some bouquets today. I'm also learning to bring food. I brought a little cooler because I don't want to spend money anymore when time lunch. I have my red cooler with my eggs in there. This is just me waiting for the market to open and hopefully sell. Just taking you a look around of where I am. And we didn't do too bad. We only had two left. I think out of like four or five of little mason jars. And we had one little bucket left of bouquets, like four or five, I think four bouquets left. Not too bad. I think we made about 15 bouquets. So, and sold out of chicken eggs. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.